welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to share with you how berries prepare their fish curries at Mangalore. And here the ingredient that's shown is for half a kilo of fish. These are the ingredients used. I've also used hock plum to enhance its flavor and tanginess. Here's the list of ingredients for you to make a note. Hock plum or ambatekai or ambatekai as it's long, uh, locally known as is more famous in coastal areas. We normally use it for enhancing its flavor in vegetable and fish curries. No other curries we use it. In case if you don't find it, you don't have to worry. You can just increase the amount of tamarind that's been used in the curry. Before we use the hock plum, we would have to smash it a little. First, we would grind red chilies, coconut, turmeric, coriander seed and tamarind. Once you grind it, make sure that you open the lid, put the ingredient back again to the center of the mixer and grind it again. And I do it a couple of times to make sure no raw material or um, you know raw ingredient remain on the lid or on the edge. Grind it to a really fine paste like this one. After we grind it into fine paste, we would have to take half the onion, two garlic cloves and half an inch ginger. We keep the remaining separately because we would have to use it when we prepare the curry. Yeah, and of course, half of the chili. I would first grind this. Grinding it to a fine smooth paste is the key. Now I'm going to add two garlic cloves that I have left it. Mixer might heat up because you want to make it that make that fine and smooth paste. You might want to stop in between and start over again. This is the consistency that we're looking at. Now I'm going to go ahead and slice the remaining half onion thinly, the quarter inch of ginger, one clove of garlic, and the tomato and half of green chili. Also added the pork plum. Now I add the curry that I have made, the paste that I made. You can add the amount of water into the mixer jar and then pour it back again. That way we know we, we do not waste any of the ingredient or the paste that you made. And also add water until unless that you get the required consistency. I also added one sprig of curry leaf now. Another sprig, I would use it once the curry is cooked. Mix it really, really well before you turn on the gas. Also, do not forget to add the salt. Salt is as per your taste. We use rock salt in this curry. Now, I'll let it boil. Let it cook. So, I normally use medium to high flame. You can I would suggest medium flame would be good enough make sure you boil it until the ambate looks almost like this and the onion and tomatoes are smushy now we add the fish once you add the fish you might want to stir all the ingredients together and mix it well but really be gentle with the fish Now you let it boil or cook. Okay, it would roughly take 20 minutes for me. Fish is cooked. Now once the fish is cooked, I'm going to just turn on off the gas. Right. And now I'm going to add the remaining one sprig of curry leaf. I normally add this after I switch off the gas. Since I'm using the mud pot, it keeps cooking even after the gas is turned off. So that's amazing quality of the mud pot. Wow, this smells awesome. My stomach is already grumbling. 
um, it's it tastes delicious it smells amazing if you're somebody who's never tried cooking fish curry please go ahead and try this recipe it's easy and if you already are trying any other recipe of fish curry i'm sure once you see it you uh, try it you will stop using any other recipe apart from this one you can this goes well with dosa idli rice anything of your choice and i'm going to go ahead and eat now thank you so much for watching if you have not already subscribed please like share and subscribe and comment below if you like the recipe thank you